Hey guys, it's Witch, and today I'm here with the Yuri Pileski Nendroid number 799. This is the first Yurio one to be released. Um, they have announced the second one as of right now, though. So I wanted to start with this keychain. Um, if you've seen my Victor and first Yuri videos, um, I got one for each of them as well because I ordered from Good Smile and uh, they offered the keychains as a bonus for ordering from them. So I did because I wanted the keychain. Um, and they're really cute. So yeah, they're just yellow. This one's yellow on the back. They're all, they all match their own colors. And they're just, they're really nicely detailed and they're cute. So I'm thinking about doing an Edia bag in the future. So that'll be a really nice addition. Now on to what you guys are really here for though, the Nendroid. So this Nendroid comes in his um, skating outfit. And here's the size of the box. Here's the back of the box. It shows him uh, interacting with Yuri. There's the other side of the box. The top, would you guys? You guys might not be able to tell, but there is a very subtle snowflake pattern on there. I think you can kind of see it right there, yeah. And there's the bottom. <laughs> so let me get him opened up and we will look at him a little bit closer. Just as a note, I want to mention the inside of his box smells pretty strongly. Um, I noticed it just when I was opening him. It smells kind of of like, I don't know, plastic paint type smell, you know the smell. Um, which Nendroids, my Nendroids haven't in the past come smelling that strongly. So just something to be aware of. I'm not sure why this one's different. He comes with the same standard base as the other ones. Um, that says Yuri on Ice on the side. And the same standard back piece and of course the extra neck joint which if you're new to Nendroids you see that smiley face that's on the joints and it helps you know that it's an authentic good smile product rather than a replica so it's something to look for if you're not sure if something's real let's look at him standard how he comes in the box um, so this is the face plate he comes with he does not come with an alternative hairstyle so this is the hairstyle he has it's pretty nicely sculpted. Um, feel like this might be a little easy to break, so be careful with those if you get him. Um, and yes, let's look at the details on his outfit, which are very nice. There's small blue dots. This bit is metallic. I don't know how well it's showing up. Um, he's got a design on the side of his pants. This is the back. So, yeah, and there's his skates. And let me pull his, hit the front of his hair off real quick so you can see what this face plate looks like. I'll show you guys how so this is how it looks without any coverage. So, let's look at the other face plates first. It comes with this one, which is really cute. Um, this will probably end up being the one I display him with, but we'll see. And the last one he comes with is this face, which is really funny. Um, you know, stressed out. And I feel like this would be really fun for pretty much any Nendroid uh, scene that you need somebody who's like stressing out. This would be a perfect face for that. So next, let's look at the legs and arms. He only comes with one extra leg, and that's this. Uh, to put his leg in a skating pose, which I believe both Victor and Yuri also only came with one extra leg, so that's about what I expected. He comes with a lot of arm options. Um, besides the straight down ones he has here, which are, you know, what he's got on, he's got these ones that are also straight down, so I'm not really sure what the difference is. Let's 
see. Let's take one off and compare it real quick. Okay, so these straight arms actually go straight out, not down. That's why there's two sets of straight arms in there. They are slightly, well not slightly, they're extremely different arms once you put them into the Nendroid, though they don't look that different just by themselves. So there's a set of those. So you can have both his arms out like that. Here is the bent arm with his hand. Um, it has a little hole in it. I think that's to hold the other half of this bun, which is the pork cutlet bun. So this is the opposite arm. You can hold it like this. Um, and yeah, so that one's bitten into and partially eaten, which is really cute. And then it also comes with an option for a whole pork cutlet bun that he hasn't opened yet, or that he hasn't bitten into yet. Um, I think I like the bitten into one better because it's like easier to tell what it's supposed to be, where I feel like this one could be like anything. I mean, obviously if you know the character, you can figure out what it is, but if I just saw this in a photo and didn't know the character, I would have no idea what that is. So, there's that. And then there's a set of these arms that look like this. Okay. And then lastly, and arguably most importantly, are the cat ears, which are molded specifically to fit his hairstyle, as you can see here. So I don't know how well this would work on some other Nendoroids, unless their hair was parted the same way. Just for your reference, if you were thinking of putting these on a different Nendoroid, but they are pretty cute. Okay, so let me get him set up in some poses and we'll look at him all set up. Here's the first pose I put him in. Um, I chose to use his arms out just to kind of show you better how they looked. And I replaced his one leg with his skating leg. Um, yeah, obviously I tried the cat ears out and the stressed face. Back it up a little bit so you can see the face better in the light. Um, but yeah, so that's the first pose I chose to go with. And I'll be right back with the, the next one. So this is the next pose I chose. Um, the one I, the hand I thought was used to hold the other side of the bun actually just goes on his hip. Hip, 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 hip. So yeah, he can uh, pose with his hand on his hip. So this is kind of his mouth open a little bit. The one I said was cute. And I gave him the partially eaten bun in his hand. So let me get him set up with um, the last set of arms and we'll see how they look. The last set of hands uh, makes his hands go together kind of under his face like that. So besides the full uh, bun, this is all his hand options that I've shown you here. And yeah, so he's got some really versatile options, um, especially with his arms. I feel like it's one of the more versatile ones. Um, legs, not as much, and two of his face expressions are pretty close. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, as always, the quality is really nice. The paint job looks really good. The molding looks good. You know, they. I rarely have issues with them, and when I do, I definitely tell you guys so you guys know to look out for them. Um, his are one of the nicest moving joints, and the pieces uh, moving in and out and locking together and stuff uh, is really smooth without being too loose, um, which is really nice because a lot of the time they're either way too loose or way too tight, but he's just kind of a nice middle ground. And again, that might vary from one Yuri to the next, but... Yes, that's my experience with this particular Yuri. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.